Hi, it's Carrie. Today I'm going to be doing a bit more of something that I have done in the past. It's the deco patch. So it's, I can't remember the other name for it, but deco patch is the brand basically who make the glue and the papers that are used for it. But it's when you take card things and cover them with paper like now I did a video of this before gave this one to my other half and yes he now sits in the background here but I don't actually have that much in my background and I want to make it special I decided that a really good way to make it special is to use these letters that I've had for a little while spell out dream if I put them the right way around um, yeah but anyway they spell out dream and I've wanted to do something kind of inspirational for myself for a while and this will be great it'll be in the background afterwards and I think it'll be a really fun thing to do so without further ado let's get into it as we're going to be using glue today, as I showed you at the beginning, the first step was to cover the desk. If you watched my other deco patch video, you will be aware that um, I didn't clean my brush properly, and as a result, it is. It's pretty much rock hard so that's my own fault yes I should probably use a different one but um, oh well we're here now <laughs> so I have the cardboard pieces the glue the brush and I also have a load of papers this one is kind of I like to think of it as dragon scales but it's, it's just scaly we've also got a brass metallic -y one copper I suppose you'd call that copper uh, gold uh, this one is what's the pajamas of the of the little puppy I showed you at the beginning just a patterned blue and my favorite one seaside things those are all the papers I have to work with so that's one two three four five and conveniently we have five letters that's pretty cool okay um i'm not necessarily going to use all of the papers on them i might repeat a couple of them but we'll see how it goes i think we'll go beach on the outside scales on the inside and copper in the middle there we go. Okay, now that's finally decided, I can start. I managed to pick a load of the glue off of the back of the brush, so I'm just gonna keep going with this and hope that I can get it into a usable state. And Either when that happens or when I give up, I will uh, hit the record button again and we'll actually get on with the project. Right, pretty sure this is as good as I'm going to get it. It does, it bends a little bit, but not much. Though hopefully it should be enough. So, the outside was going to be the seaside papers just need one part of it and this will definitely more than do so to start oh there's a there's a glue stalactite there <laughs>
this deco patch glue is that it has this divot in it which perfectly holds the deco patch brush I, I'm sure it'll hold other brushes as well but it means that your gluey brush isn't going to get stuck to the mat or the table or whatever it is you're using <laughs>
letters are done and dry. I'm just gonna pop them up there in a moment. They're gonna move around a lot over the next few weeks as I try and figure out exactly where I want them to be. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Just uh, give the buttons little, little boops, boop. Um. <laughs> yes, just little boops. I'm getting a little bit too enthusiastic about booping things, aren't I? Oh, well, too late. I filmed it now. <laughs> I will see you very soon.